Welcome to another quick tutorial in Cinema 4D. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to scatter objects by weight painting. First, let's add a plane and increase the seconds. Now, let's add a displacer. Drag it under the plane, go to shading and add noise. Go to the white color and decrease the brightness and increase the global scale by 10. Now, let's make the plane editable and select the points mode and select the points by Ctrl A and go to select and set vertex weight now let's create our spline shape now we create our pen tool Now go to Mesh, select Axis and set the Axis Center and set the position to 0. Group the pen and add a line to spline and drag our spline there. Select Tangential and keyframe the position. And then adjust the position of the pen. Now go to vertex map, check the use fields and delete the freeze and add a spherical field and resize it. Now add a sphere to the group and set position to 0. And create a new group. Go to vertex map and add K and set the strength to 100 and grab them now add a vertex map to the displacer of Halof and duplicate the spherical field and drag it to the vertex map and add K and set the strength 100 Group them and select Subtract. Now add Delay and set the value to 30. And now adjust the size and the position of the fields. Now let's add a cloner and create our objects. Resize them and set the axis center. and the position to 0 and drag them under the cloner select mode object and add the spline there and select distribution to step and increase the size now go to mode graph and add random effector and set the position scale and the rotation Select Cloner and add Plane and set the scale to minus 1. Now create a new spherical field and add it to the plane. Now let's add Invert and Decay and drag the Invert on top. Set the Decay to 100 
and play with the size and the position. Now go to plane and add a new displacer and delete the vertex and resize the height and the scale. You can play with the settings until you get what you want. And go to plane, fall off and add a delay and set the value to 30. And that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.